Hello, Bob here, and today I want to show you a few item frame and lectern decoders that actually also work for 1.16. As you may know, like uh, in 1.16, the way uh, Powered Redstone works changed a little bit. So as you can see here, this lamp is on, this is off, and this is off. So this has signal strength zero, and this has also signal strength zero, but still this lamp is powered. And this is a new behavior in 1.16, which also broke quite a few of the old um, designs. And I had struggles finding a proper one uh, or some proper ones for item frames and lecterns at work. And uh, yeah, I really want to share also my findings with you. This is the first design. It is a very simple one for an item decoder. So here you can see the first lamp glowing. And when I switch, the second one and the third one is activated and so on. And the uh, yeah build is quite easy. We have a comparator, another one here with a redstone torch behind and a, a subtraction mode going all the way around. And from here on, we have eight torches. The second one is in principle the same one, except that the torches here are switching from the side instead of being all on one side. Um, I just wanted to show this because sometimes it is a bit difficult to get the output here. For example, if you would have redstone dust here, it's easy that um, they are connecting to each other and it's a bit difficult, but here, for example, it's easy to um, get the signal out from here or from this torch, for example, then from here to this side. The third design is using a lectern. And here we can simply um, switch the pages. We have 15 pages representing signal strengths of 15. So you can also have um, less than 15 pages, for example. And here you can see when I switch in the background also the lamp turns on, the torch. Here's the uh, logic for it. So it is very similar to also the uh, first one we had, except that we, instead of having eight torches, we have from here on 15 torches. And this is also the same, but then it changes a little bit that we always have uh, block dust block comparator. And again, and again, and again, like so with this at the end to carry the signal on the other line around. But in principle, it's uh, yeah, the same as the, the first one. Also here you can, and also with the following designs, you can always put one of the torches here in the inside, switching, alternating to make it easier to take away the signal. All of these three designs are already very good and um, sufficient for most use cases, but they struggle from um, some, um, yeah, they have some minor flaws. For example, if the user spams here, then you can see what is happening here. So then you get occasional pulses, depending on uh, where and how the user is clicking. But also um, it's a small inconvenience, for example, um, that for example, if you want to switch from this position to this position, it's always like going from like this and then like this. So it's always the middle one is uh, light up as well, especially if the user selects so lowly. So this is the second issue. And also another issue is with these kind of designs, is especially in the end position, when it resets to the first position, 
you will see sometimes also one tick pulses like so when you come here for example uh, with this one with the additional comparators here also the uh, spamming is um, problem is um, increased even so you can see the lights turning on but if you click very fast you see that a lot of lamps turn on simultaneously like I said for a lot of um, applications they can be used as they are maybe with an additional button to confirm the selection and then they are fine but I just want to showcase you two more designs which are um, helping to get rid of these minor flaws as well so this is an item frame selector with an additional confirmation button and as soon as the item selector is um, changing we have a lock mechanism here turning off all torches as you can see there is one torch lit and if I switch even if I switch fast all of them are off and now I can switch as much as I want and only when I confirm the selection then the respective torch will turn on like so here I can also show you the design so we have one redstone block here over the comparator um, and here we observe any change of signal strength here from the item frame and then the redstone block is pushed over here powering up the whole line and turning off all the torches and the button press here this light blue glass pushes back the redstone block and then we have the reg regular logic so this is the same then as here as you can see here with the two comparators except that we have here these two comparators as well the same but we have here and here one additional comparator apart from that it is the same design as the first two now we have another one which is the lectern here it is in a way done that if we switch here the selection will not switch at all it remains as it is as you can see in the background but only if we press the button button then the new selection is overridden like so okay and this one uh, looks a little bit more complex on the first uh, sign but it's uh, also easily explained so generally um, whatever we select in the lectern doesn't matter because we have a signal strength here of 15 coming in and this one is on subtract mode so there's no power going through this line so generally whatever is selected is ignored as you can see here the second component is that we have a memory cell here signal strength memory cell like this way around which stores the current value of signal strengths now when the button is pressed we'll give a signal here and this memory cell is erased because we will have a signal strength here of 15 erasing that component and setting it to zero if this is zero here though this is zero then also this is zero and here and finally the item frame signal strength here gets through and populates the new memory cell the output of this memory cell is then split one is here and one is here one is going this way around with one two three four five hoppers uh, five comparators and here one the last one in subtract mode like so and the other part is going around this way 
one, two, three, and four, this way around. When the button is pressed, to erase by powering this and uh, powering the uh, memory cell here from the side, so this will be uh, set to zero because it's in subtract mode. Then also we will give a pulse into this area here, single strength 15, powering this whole line. And this will help us to shortly power turn off everything before we power the new one, the new torch. So if I, let's say, go on 15, the last lamp, then we will see that this one first turns off because of the strong single strength here. And then afterwards, the one in the back will start like so. Yeah, I hope you liked the small tour for item frame and lectern selectors in 1.16. Um, let me know if you have any questions regarding any of the contraptions here. I hope it, it wasn't too long and I hope it also wasn't too fast. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions, concerns or any feedback. Take care and bye bye.